Leaky gutters can be annoying with dripping water, but worse, they can result in damage to your home. It may build slowly, but eventually, this will require expensive repairs. In this example, we see exterior stucco that's cracked and stained due to the leaky gutter. The water is also penetrated inside, damaging the drywall and the paint, and who knows what else inside the wall. Finally, at this location, uh, there's icy sidewalks in the winter that can build because of water dripping onto the concrete steps, and that could potentially bring injury. Welcome to Tomahawk DIY, everyone. I'm Mike. Today I'll show you these simple repairs with Leak Stopper Rubber Flex Liquid Coating and with the Leak Stopper Rubber Flex Waterproof Tape. They're great products that will do a terrific job at stopping leaks. I want to thank the Gardner Gibson Company for sponsoring this video. Now one thing that's nice about Rubber Flex is the Rubber Flex liquid comes in several different colors, white, gray, and clear. About eight months ago, a can of Flex Seal spray was used to try and seal up the leak at the end cap of this rain gutter. Now here's the results of that. There was a lot of Flex Seal used, but it failed to stop the leak. When we add a little bit of water here, we're going to rinse some of the dirt. we got to get this fully cleaned out. You can just see this thing dripping. And it's headed all down the side of the house, causing some problems. I really hate to see this on a home where water damage can just start ruining your house. Since Flex Seal failed to stop the leak, I've got a uh, two-part system here. This is Leak Stopper Rubber Flex. We've got the liquid rubber coating and the waterproof tape. Now this is a two-part system for even stronger leak stopping. One of the great things about these products are that they work on a whole lot of different surfaces, including metal and plastic rain gutters. While we're up here, we'll also take a look at uh, sealing along the edge of the roof shingles and this stucco to improve some waterproofing there. One of the most important steps is cleaning the area where we need to apply the Rubber Flex products. So we're going to start by cleaning this, uh, getting all the dirt and grit out. Another thing I'm going to do while I've got the Rubber Flex product is actually coat some of this gutter. Um, rubber Flex can be used for a lot of different things, and there's some corrosion here on this rain gutter. I recommend using a water-based cleaner degreaser like Simple Green and a stiff scrub brush. Make sure the area is very clean and completely dry. I'm going to use some sandpaper. This is some 60 grit, pretty rough stuff. Get it cleaned off and nice and ready for this uh, coat of Rubber Flex liquid. Now where I'm going to use this Rubber Flex liquid along the junction between the roof and the stucco, I need to get this, uh, this salt cleaned up. There's some salt that was spread up here to try and prevent ice from building up. I'm also gonna take this brush just to kind of clean some grit and whatnot up from in here where we'll, where we'll be putting the, the rubber flex liquid. With the surface prepared, I'm going to let this fully dry and come back later. I can't emphasize enough that surface preparation is the key to a good performance of your rubber flex. So. All right, we're going to put this clear liquid rubber and the waterproof tape. It's notable that the instructions say to Keep these indoors at room temperature and also make sure you apply them to surfaces at 40 degrees Fahrenheit to 99 degrees Fahrenheit on a clear day with a maximum humidity level of 70%. Now this waterproof tape has incredible adhesion and can be installed on all sorts of building surfaces in hot and cold weather so it's a really versatile product. Uh, the one thing to be sure of is that your surface is clean and dry. Let's get this thing open and put it to use. Now all we're gonna do is take some scissors and cut this stuff to length. Now we can continue to shape this and mold it to, uh, to however it's gonna best fit in our particular application. And then the back side there's a, a release liner or a tape 
that you'll peel back when it's time to adhere. Now be sure you've got it in the right spot, ready to go before you remove that release liner and stick it down. All right, so I'm gonna work on removing this release liner. In here and lined up. Okay, I pulled all the release liner off. Trying to work this into place. All right, now I'm gonna apply pressure because I want this secured down good and tight. So look at that air bubble that I worked out right there. It's actually in the adhesive. Now I didn't want to leave that under because as, as uh, time passes and things heat and cool, that could cause me some problems. Work this liner into place. And I'm paying special attention to, to points like this where I've got some overlap between pieces of tape or other items. Again, I'm trying to work out all air bubbles and wrinkles find some really good pressure on it. Make sure this isn't gonna stay, stay put. Now with this waterproof tape down and in place, it's important to note, you don't have to wait or dry or anything with this product. It's ready to go once you've got it stuck in place. With this in place, we'll now move on to applying the Rubber Flex liquid. Now the versatility of the Rubber Flex products is great. We started today working to repair the leaks down here at the seam where the Flex Seal product had not uh, held the water back like we wanted it to. While we're up here, I noticed I want to actually apply some at the junction of this stucco and the metal line. The rubber Flex liquid coating can adhere to the stucco, the metal, the shingles, so we apply some here. And then I also found some corrosion on the inside of the rain gutter, so we'll apply a little bit there while we're at it. Okay, now one thing I found helpful with the slope of the roof is put a little board under here and that keeps my can uh, nice and level on the top. All right, so I got my two inch brush. It's just a disposable brush. Give you an idea of how this is. Kind of like a, I don't know, kind of like rubber cement. Doesn't feel terribly sticky at the moment, but I'm sure that's gonna change real quick here. Okay, so my surface is clean and dry. We're ready to apply this Rubber Flex liquid coating. It applies very easily, really nicely here. I'm going to be sure I'm extending past the waterproof tape. And apply a liberal coating of this. I can be sure I get in all the corners and crevices. As I apply this heavy coat, I want to put it on thick, but I don't want it so thick that it's running. So there's a little bit of a balance there. We can come back and apply a second coat after one hour. So I'm going to apply some here on the stucco metal at this junction, just to be sure I don't have any leaks working their way through here. Same principles apply. This has got to be clean and dry. Okay, so that third fix while we're up here, we're going to coat this gutter and see where there's corrosion pitting along it. Apply a nice coat across it again. Heavy, but not so thick that it's run down. It's had some great, great adhesion. Here's the completed repair after the product has dried. Leaks are gone. The corrosion that it was over here is coated, and we've stopped water from finding its way between the stucco and the shingles. This is a great product. The Rubber Flex liquid can be used on its own. But for even stronger leak stopping, it can be used as a system with the Rubber Flex waterproof tape for two layers of waterproof protection. Put some water in here. Plug up the rain gutter a bit. Try and build up some depth on this, this water. We've sealed up this rain gutter. It's holding the water in place. Not leaking. So definitely a good thing. This is a great product. This two-part system along with the Rubber Flex waterproof tape have stopped the leak on this rain gutter, something that the uh, Flex Seal spray can didn't do. But if you need to clean this Rubber Flex liquid up, use some paint thinner or mineral spirits um, to help remove the, uh, the liquid rubber coating. You've got to do that while it's still wet before it's dried. Thanks so much for watching. That repair should work out well and hold for a long time. I'd like to thank Gardner Gibson 
for sponsoring this video. Check out the video description. I'll include some links where you can pick up Leak Stopper Rubber Flex, the liquid waterproof coating, as well as the uh, waterproof tape. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and have a great day.